I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, we're going to win the Champions League! Woo! Good morning, Trigo! What's happening? I see the most overrated games just been released. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We are back in league action where we are currently five unbeaten, where today we welcome Buckingham Athletic, who will be making the hour and four minute journey than the A507 to Pixmore Playing Fields, where it's Letrith Garden City Eagles v Buckingham Athletic in Spartan South Midlands Division 1. Never been into any of the FIFA games. The last one I had was FIFA 94 on the Sega Mega Drive. Yes, I'm that old. More of a football manager fan. Love a bit of tactics and stats. Always see myself as the non-league Mourinho. I'll tap anyone up. When comes to a winning team. We're sick of the big club coming in and tapping up our players. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get the football news. <laughs> So Buckingham Athletic finished ninth last season. They currently sit 11th after seven games where they've won two, drawn two and lost three. Darren Clark took charge on the 6th of May this year. He's got a win percentage of 28.57. Here's our Buckingham Athletic stats look. I don't care about your mans. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 26th of the 3rd, 2022. Letrith Garden City Eagles 3, Buckingham Athletic 2. Vader, shoot on sight with an hat trick. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grind. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let me get the fuck out of here. Up the Eagles! Today, and those changes are based on me asking Marvin his view on things as well. I make the calls on the team and I make the changes. Last week wasn't good enough. You want to talk to me afterwards? Happy to do it. Don't bitch and moan. 40 games to go. Big squad. Do you hear it? Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking right. Don't know much about this lot. All I'm saying to you is you've been on it. You've done well at training. You reacted after Saturday's defeat and you worked hard. Have to take it in. Win our home games. Draw the away games. You'll be there and thereabouts. Today's about fucking putting things right on the grass. That means complete a fucking Fucking pass, work hard off the ball, work hard on the fucking ball, win your headers, be brave. The things I talked about last week, brave, energy, desire. Didn't have the desire to the second half. I get they're a better team, but you still have to fucking run around. You fucking got to fight. Those are basic principles in football. You can't fucking throw the towel in because they play at a higher level than you. Fuck off. You perform as a team today, we're going to get something out of the game. You perform as individuals, we're going to struggle. On Tuesday, worked on sharpness, we need to see that today. On Thursday, worked on manipulation of space, creating space and manipulating that, taking advantage of the space that you've just made. Last week was a cup game. We've beaten better teams than the one you're going to be playing today. So we have to forget about what happened last week. We're still unbeaten in five games in the league. But you have to work hard in order to create space, in order to play football. Work hard first, then your quality will show. Keep it simple. Play what you see. Defender. Spencer Thomas, defender. Tyrese Ace, defender. Danny Charles, midfield. Mike Smith, midfielder. Carl Oswald, midfielder. Danny Coughlin, midfielder. Mark Thomas, striker. 
Harry got him off the midfielder. Oh, he's dropped. Let's go, though. Richard Marvel, defender. Sam James. Sam James, come on! Richard James, all about territory. If you allow the opposition territory, you're not going to be able to get in your heart. You've got wonderful players in here who are technically gifted players, but unless you demand the ball, you have no right to receive it. If you're not going to ask for the ball and someone's got the ball and they don't pass you, don't speak your dummy, yeah? use your voice. Move and receive the pass. Keep the ball today. We'll win this game, but it's up to you. We've done as much as we can do to help you win this game. After you cross that white line, it's all on you. If you don't want to do it on the pitch, then you watch the game from the sideline. Your competition is sitting on the bench waiting for you to have a bad game so that they can play. And remember that. It's coming. Fight, 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 fight. As everyone's getting ready to kick this game off, the referees decided to play eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and the lino's getting involved as well. A couple of people were saying, hey, get on with it, ref. He's giving a thumbs up. Yeah, all right. It's my watch. My time. As summer, there's a last-minute stretch. When you're ready, ref. And off we go. Let's with Garland City Eagles get this game underway. Hello, Onion Head. And the first dangerous attack will come from Letchworth as Max will play this free kick into the box. Over for a corner. Max is swinging this corner in. Goalkeeper and the defender on the line has had a bit of a mix up. Who's going for that? Danny will send this ball back in. They're trying to claim offside. Dempsey's with the ball into the dangerous area. And that will be another corner. Like buses. So Max will take the corner from the other side as the ball's with him to slab it. I think that's at his shoulder, his chest. Keeper will claim this and look to lift them up the field. A mistake at the back from Buckingham as Summers will collect the ball, playing to the path of Sonny, who dinks it over the keeper and he's made it 1-0. And that will take Summers to 74,000 assists for the season alone. How much more does this young man Sonny have to do to get this stadium named after him? Another sloppy pass has caught me off guard, but this time for Letchworth as Buckingham go through. That's a big save by Nathan the Snake. A doys give the ball away again. Danny will cut that out. Dinks over to the remaining Usain Bolt. We will play it into the non-league patch of Vieira who will knock it past one and go sliding in and will be bucking them to the ball. What a player. Another free kick for Letchworth as Max will play this in to Adoy. That's deflected off for a corner. Adoy looking to make that front post run. He doesn't connect enough on it as Buckingham will look to get rid of this ball but it's landed kindly back into our possession and for a change we thought would allow Buckingham into our half considering all they've been doing is defending as the Kiwi International will play this long over to Sonny he's having a one-on-one -on -one foot race but where's he going towards this corner he's looking to cut in he has beat his man he will get a shot off straight into the keeper's hands, but he's done well there. Well, would you Adam and Eve it? It's another free kick to Letchworth as Max will look to play this ball in. Over to the top to slap it! The one person you expect to hit the back of the net with that forehead. Sends it over, throwing to Buckingham. Should be easy enough for a doy. He's got it caught in between his legs as Buckingham looked to break down our defence and try and get a shot off. That will be cleared from Slabhead. Play back in from Buckingham. Away by the non-league Vieira. Long ball, hoof right back in. Adoy's knocked that out for a corner. Corners will be played in. All the way to the back post. Looks like everyone has completely and utterly missed it. But there's an offside shot. Kleb looking to play that ball through to Summers, who's bent his run. He's taken deflection. He stops for half a second, which allowed the defender back in. Could he have carried on his run? He was only one on one with the goalkeeper then. Another chance of Summers in the half volley. Straight down the throat of the keeper. Tyrese to whip the ball in. Flat back the back post, unmarked. He's missed a target, but it was offside. Max with his back to goal. What can he do? Oh, he's done a lovely little Kleb turn. I might have to start calling him Kleb as he plays the ball into Sonny, who looks to have a shot. Goes over the bar. Kleb looking to beat his man. He's not had much luck as he looks to bring this forward. You right there, mate? What's this, a circus? Somehow Buckingham have managed to make it into our half. You know when an elephant's up a tree and you go, how did it get there? You don't know, but they've just managed to get there. They've had another golden opportunity gone to waste. Lazy defending by us as we have players out of position. Into the last minute of this arse of Tyrese looks to cut through two players. As he does, he's driving forwards. Looking to take on a third. Gets cut out by the fourth. And the referee blows for half time. Let's with Garden City Eagles 1, Buckingham 0. When you try and give instructions, you've got to understand it's not here to give you instructions. You've got to take them on board because that's what we see in the game. If you go out and just play without instructions, there's chaos. As soon as the ball goes towards the attacking numbers, three, four players with the attacking numbers. So you've got to be patient with it. 
and make sure we've got the right people behind the ball. The instruction can try and save the front two. If you can watch the movement, it's difficult because it's all about moments of the game. If I tell you to do something or ask you to do something or make you aware of something, yeah, but. I don't want to hear but because but means that you're not listening. But means that you won't improve. But means that you're already on the defensive because I'm telling you something that you're doing wrong. No, but you just get on and do it because we can see it from the side. Like, what was all about pictures? We can see the whole picture. You can see maybe 60% of what's going on. We can see 100%. So if we're asking you to do something, it's for the good of the team. So when I ask you to move back into position, oh, we ain't going to kick it this way anyway. I don't care where you're going to kick it. I want you to be in that position. You're way below your standard. What happens is if you're nervous, they become nervous. And then if they become nervous, he becomes nervous. So you're in a pivotal part of our unit at the back that if you're not on it, we're going to struggle. And as that game's gone on, we either are lacking concentration or lacking fitness. Instead of playing our football in the mid third, final third, playing all our football in the defensive third. Yeah. If that had decent finish, we, we would have come in 1 1. Let's end this game with three points. Come on, let's go. And Buckingham Athletic will get this second half underway. Nice early start by Letchworth. As Flav will play that ball into the original Alexander Cleb. Look at the little turn, the shuffle, the drop of his shoulder. He's going for it. He has a shot. Or oh, is that a corner ball? No, that'll be a goal kick. Just over. Counter attack is on again with the remaining Usain Bolt cutting inside. Strike from his left foot. A very good strike met with a very good save. Corner ball to Letchworth. And we're at it once again as it's one way traffic with the remaining Usain Bolt. We'll play that into Summers who looks to play through to Matt. That's cut out by Buckingham. Danny will play into Summers. Little one two up Patea over to Sonny who is unmarked. Surely he's got to go for a shot. He's gone for the cross. Summers doesn't connect enough on that. Surely the shot to drive and goal was on. And as we're a nice family club, we thought we'd let Buckingham have a crack. Corner whips in. Bit of a mixed match of who's marking who. Wasn't following their man. It's bouncing around like a spicy meatball. Buckingham's a hoof that out for a throw in. No, he's seen something the camera's not caught. And eventually we will clear our lines. Another corner to Buckingham. Ball played all the way into the back post. There's a shot. Blocked by Slabhead. Another shot. Another block by Slabhead. Another great shot. Oh, it's a save by Nathan. Oh, that was a nervy time there. Most people call their goalkeeper the cat for the quick reactions. We call him a snake. It's another corner to Buckingham. Ball played into the same area. Slabbed will knock that straight back out to the corner taker. He will just hit it first time straight into the box. And Dempsey will look to clear the ball. 1-2 between the remaining Usain Bolt and H. Ball played through. Counter attack is on. Shoot on sight is running through with Tyrese. They've tackled each other somehow. Where have I seen that before? Max is bearing down on goal. Even their physio loves this movement. He's trying to get a closer look, but Max has knocked it over the bar. Dangerous cross whipped in by Buckingham. His head has flipped on it, hit the post. Oh, that's a massive let off. But why was Dempsey left with two men? Sammy plays this ball into Flav. First time cross. He's, uh, he's completing utterly missed kick that and shoot on sight. We'll have a little toe poke to make it 2-0. Wow, how did he not clear that ball? Bread and butter, he's missed it. We're into that six added minutes as a free kick is played in. Nath went to come punch that, has completely missed it, not connected enough on it. Flav, do not give a foul away. Everyone's saying, stand on your feet, do not give a foul away. What have you gone and done? Last kick of the game as this free kick will come in. Man out front post, Nathan with a fantastic save to keep a clean sheet and a referee's called full time. Let's with two, Buckingham nil. No, it was 2 0, not 2 2, lads. For me, the three feet, desire, energy, and brave on the football. Exactly what we wanted, a reaction from Saturday. Three points, fucking half decent. We're going to Amish him on Tuesday, there ain't no fucking rollover. All of us are in this together. One squad delivers results, not individuals, but you've got to have competition to push yourself. On Tuesday, we're going to play against a strong side, really experienced. If we give them the opportunity that we did in the first half, and the one that we gave them in the second half, that's two goals down. So let them work for it. We must have asked their discipline win. And then they overloaded and we got a second goal in the second half. You've competed against the best in this league. Teams like this should be nowhere near you. Then you proved it today. Good win. Warm down, Danny. Warm down. Yeah, yeah, Good win. Oh, yeah. boys. Cole, that's another victory for the boys. A 2 0 victory. How do you think you played? How do you think the lads played? I think started a bit poorly. Didn't start the best. Kind of worked my way into the game. Started battling more. Started winning second balls a lot more. Started playing a bit more. And the second half, we started really well. Boys played really well, battled well. Ended up getting the three points, and that's all that matters. So, since rejoining us this season, you seem to be enjoying your football a lot. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm starting to 
reintegrated with the squad, enjoying it a lot more, winning games, that's all that matters. Is there more to come? Have we seen the best of you? Nah, definitely more to come. Always more to come. We've got another 30 games, so we'll see the rest. So the final score, Electric Garden City Eagles 2, Buckingham Athletic nil. That's now six unbeaten in the league. We must be doing something right in training. Back in action again Tuesday night away to Amersham Tan. So make sure you do all the usual stuff, because you know what to do. Until next time, ta -la. And if you up, we'll let you down, then we're gonna ride, cause that's you.